All right, everybody. So good session last night. Um, so what I want to do is go through, first of all, the three new chords that we did. Now, I only we only got to two of them. So first thing I'm going to do is do the one that we didn't really get a chance to go for. That was E7. So Hallelujah is just C, A minor, F and G pretty much all the way through with the exception of one little bit in the pre-chorus. And that's an E7. So that's the bit where... And from your lips she drew the hallelujah Just before the chorus Hallelujah And so on and so forth So here's the chord itself So you get your first finger, first fret on the top string Second finger, second fret on the next string down Skip the next string And then your third finger is going on the second fret of the bottom string And there it is so That's E7 Okay now, so for any new chord, <clears throat> you want to make sure that you've got it in context as well. Now, first of all, just, just get used to the shape itself, of course. You know, make sure that, you know, um, this, you know, that's not happening. Make sure you're standing them up straight like that, not slanting them down. Very tip of your finger on the string and decent bit of pressure as well and try to get them. And they shouldn't be here, for example, right? They should be right up to the fret. Now, not on it, that's too far, but just right up to it like that. Okay, now, so as for the context of it, you're never just playing a chord, right? You're always going from one chord to the next chord. So that being the case, take the chord before it and after it and loop them around. And that's the best way to kind of really get over that little speed bump that is a new chord, right? So what you do is the chord before it is G, then you've got the E7, and then you come out of the E7 onto an A minor. So I'll just show you those changes. So there's the G. The kind of the triangular shaped one. Okay. Then coming around and there's the change. So watch that again. So you see the way there's, there's you always want to do it in as little movement as you possibly can. And then middle finger, everything else comes away, middle finger moves up a string for the A minor. From your lips she drew the hallelujah there you're on to the F for hallelujah and the chorus. Okay, so the other two then <clears throat> were a different type of E, this time E minor. So there's E7 and there's E minor, okay? So oh, it's a simple enough shape. It's just a kind of a staircase starting on the second fret of the bottom string, then the third fret, then the fourth fret, and then the top one is open. Okay, so that's E minor. And D minor is first finger, first fret on the second string up, middle finger on the top string, second fret, and then so that's so that there is on its own as it is is just F, right? So in addition to the F, then you add in the third finger, second fret on the second string down, and that's D minor. Okay, so so we'll just uh, these uh, both of these chords are in the chorus, so we'll just have so again. Practice them on their own first. Make sure you have them. You know, go. You know, if you've got two new chords, just put the two of them next to each other and change from one to the next. Just back and forward. And while you're doing it, try to minimize the amount of movement involved Oops. in that change. Okay. So, in context, then this was these were for uh, Wild Mountain Time. So that's going to be. So for the chorus then, we'll all go together. So F to E minor. We'll all go to E minor together to pluck wild E minor mountain and then A minor time. And then from that A minor, there's the D minor. All around the blooming. And then Chord after D minor is F, so then all you have to do is just take away that third finger. Bloom and Heather, will you go C? F, La, C, go back to C again. Okay, so there's the context of it. So just make sure that, just take it without the rhythm first, okay? So just make sure that the moves between one chord and the next are as smooth as they can be, okay? As movement efficient. There's the F. Go to Together, E minor, to pluck wild mountain time, A minor, all around 
D minor. So from there, you keep your middle finger in place. So that's so your your one of the fingers might be already where it needs to be uh, for one chord before it even gets to the next chord. So for example, A minor. If I'm going into a D minor from there, my my middle finger is already where it needs to be for that D minor. So instead of resetting and then putting the D minor shape on there, leave it there and just put it on. Okay, so other points other than the chords then are number one, that Hallelujah is one of those songs that's not in 4-4, it's in 6-8 time. So all that means is that the rhythm comes in sixes or more accurately, two sets of threes. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the emphasis in that six, the emphasis is on the one and the four, or just count it in threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just to keep that bum, bum, ba da, bum, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. And you just keep that cycling around. Now, someone asked as well, do all, does that mean all the chords last for six beats? Not necessarily. That means the rhythm cycles in sixes. Now, it's likely that they will, and, and in this particular case, most of them do. But there's a couple of exceptions. Where When you get to the bit in the pre-chorus, um, well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, for example, just that particular part of each verse. So it goes like this. The one, two, three, one, two, three. So you've got a quick F and a G there, okay? So those last three beats each. So those, in other words, these two chords last half a bar each, right? So a full bar is six beats. These are just three each. So one, two, three, four, five, six on that C before them. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. And then in the chorus, then when you, you've got hallelujah, then the F the A minor, and then the F after that. They're the opposite. They're double. So they're 12 beats each. So two bars. So one, two, four, five, six. One, two. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Hallelujah. One, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the C and the G after those two, normal six each. Okay, plenty to be getting on with there. And don't forget to have a look at the rhythm. If you're having stro trouble with strumming patterns, that type of thing, have a look at the rhythm video. It's a fairly, and no harm in giving it a couple of, of, of watches as well, because that will give, that'll, it's a fairly dense video. So uh, a lot in it, so plenty to get through. All right, so keep it up a uh, little bit every day and you'll be flying. See you again.